The Calhoun family, along with the owners of Marion Square and the American Heritage Association, want to find a compromise with the city in finding the John C. Calhoun Monument a new home. City of Charleston officials in the State Museum were in talks of displaying the statue in the museum last February. Destiny Kennedy is in Marion Square with more details on why that discussion came to a halt and lets us know what's next. The American Heritage Association believes that Columbia would be too far and that the monument belongs in the city of Charleston outdoors. The group prepared an open letter to Mayor Tecklenburg and the city council last night saying they want to start discussions on finding the monument a home after it was taken down in June of 2020. City of Charleston spokesperson Jack O'Toole said in a statement as was widely reported in February of last year, the city and the state museum were working out the details of a plan to display the statue at the museum in Columbia. Unfortunately, that plan was derailed by the AHA's lawsuit, which cast a legal shadow over the statue's ownership. Long story short, as long as the AHA is suing the city over the statue, the city can't do what the AHA is asking it to do in this petition. The lawsuit against the city was filed by the Calhoun family September 2020 and then refiled in November, adding the Marion Square owners as a co-plaintiff. President of the AHA, Brett Berry, says they had a good reason for refiling. Uh, but it was filed because we don't think the city has a right to decide this on their own. Um, they broke the trust agreement, and so we would like folks that wish to preserve this piece of Charleston history to come together and hopefully chart a pathway forward. Barry hopes to speak with Mayor Tecklenburg and the Charleston City Council soon before heading to court. In Charleston, Destiny Kennedy, Live 5 News. Thank you.